okay, uh, Mr. Chaudhary, uh, thank you very much for your uh, sharing those thoughts with us. And and before I go across to Mr. Arijit uh, Basu, CEO of SBI Life Insurance, one of the points that I must make uh, uh, tell our viewers is the is the reorganization, so to say, that had happened in the Max Group led by Mr. Analjit Singh, including the three broad uh, uh, vertical areas of work. Uh, uh, that's that's perhaps also something that must have happened, partly keeping in mind the anticipation of the insurance bill, just to underscore the point that how industry, uh, the insurance sector was was very focused and hoping that this change uh, in the law would come through and it has uh, come through, I think, a bit of deft footwork on behalf of the government. Uh, Mr. Basu, uh, this, is, this is clearly uh, a historic day and the first question that I've been putting to all our guests is for uh, to, to sort of comment on, on, on the rapid change in scenario and the development that we saw of, of close cooperation between the Congress as well as the BJP to ensure that this bill is passed uh, and, that, and that being the politics of it on the floor uh, in the Rajya Sabha. But overall, what does it mean uh, for the insurance industry? Uh, it is... Um it is very positive for the insurance industry. This is a bill uh, which had been hanging fire for 10 years now. And the fact that uh, finally uh, both houses of parliament in quick succession have been able to pass the bill and so that it has now become an act uh, is very welcome news for the industry. It is welcome news for all the players in the industry, the regulator and of course uh, the foreign partners and others who are interested in the Indian insurance industry. How does life change for your company, if at all, Mr. Basu? Uh, right now, uh, I think uh, post uh, passing of the ordinance, uh, our company along with many others had started discussing with our joint venture partner because they have the right to first having the option of increasing the stake. So while that discussion, those discussions had started, you know, the, still the time the bill actually got passed, there was some element of uncertainty. Now that uncertainty has gone, and we expect uh, the discussions to uh, move faster. And our company also, I think, uh, the first step which could happen uh, this year or sometime this year could be an increase in stake by our partner or some such uh, uh, change or getting in some strategic partner. And subsequently, uh, we would like our company to get listed so that, uh, you know, all the stakeholders, uh, uh, you know, it's always good to have a strong listed company. So that is broadly what we have thought about. Okay, it, uh, uh, you know, in the in the ca in the case of some companies, there is no predetermined sort of strike price or or even a right of first refusal, uh, Mr. Basu. Uh, if you could offer some guidance with regard to your company, you you spoke about both a strategic uh, a, a divesture uh, as well as an eventual uh, listing. How will this pan out? What are the numbers that you can share with us at this stage? Yeah, uh, as of now, the agreement that we have with our joint venture partner, BNP Cardiff, is a right of first refusal. That is, in case we want to change the uh, holding structure, we need to get them on board. And it all depends whether they would like to come up to 49% or whether they are looking at 35%, 40%, and whether they are keen on just having a, initially SBI and Cardiff TV list or whether they are keen on having a strategic partner. These are things which we have just commenced discussion and we now expect that post, now that the bill has been passed, these discussions would uh, go forward much quickly. But in our company, uh, Cardiff has the right of first refusal. That is, uh, we have to first ask them whether they would like to take up to 49% in case SBI decides to divest. So it is only if SBI decides okay, to... Uh, I, I, I... Yeah. When, when when do you expect to take a proposal of any sorts to the board, sir? Uh, exact uh, date would be difficult to comment, but uh, maybe in the next uh, three to six months. Okay, okay. and and just uh, aside, not not with uh, re specific regard to your company, uh, this issue of of price discovery overall and the revaluation and the fair value, uh, you know, uh, uh, now that a major legislative change has happened, uh, uh, w what do you think is likely to uh, happen? Given the tough market conditions that many private players have faced, can we expect a uh, uh, a, a major increase as far as fair value is concerned or as far as price discovery is concerned? Uh, 
Uh, I think that the, all the private players who are there have been there for, uh, some of us have been there for 14 to 15 years and some have been there for 7 to 8 years. So the market has been able to evaluate each company. There is a particular number that they are sitting on, you know, based on their net worth and their embedded value which can be brought out. And then to that uh, you have to look at the future prospects. Now the future prospects is something which uh, one will be market based, or how well the market can do, that is one. But the other part is, uh, you know, the strength, inherent strength of that particular company. So I would guess that some of the companies would get valuations which would be better than some others. And uh, you can hazard a guess as to which are the companies which are doing well now and who can expect to get good mm -hmm. valuation. Certainly we hope to be one among that category given the strong position that we are placed in at the moment. And, and clearly, and, Mr. Basu, there is also... The Overall macro environment where where if 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 the numbers that are coming in on the macro front translate into actual uh, uh, real growth on the ground and and you have greater uh, disposable income available the, the the overall demand for insurance as more smarter products get launched would also increase and that is why I guess all of the guests on our show so far have been broadly talking about a 12 to 18 month uh, time frame uh, as far as uh, the the overall capital raising exercise uh, is concerned uh, mr basu thank you very much uh, for uh, you know uh, giving us your time and explaining and taking us through some of the options that exist before you uh, clearly uh, a, a major day as far as the uh, insurance sector is concerned and